Alright guys, Jack here, JBF Music and Guitar Lessons, and what I've got for you today is a quick Kurt Hammett guitar lick, specifically this one. <laughs> The tabs for this are up on patreon.com forward slash JBF music if you want a copy, but let's break it down. We're starting off here, up to there, little pull off, then we're to here, and a bit more legato. So you've got... Then we've got the main part of the lick that just kind of keeps repeating. So hammer on here, pull off, down to 17 on the B, then again you want this Picking that one, just hammer on, hammer on. The timing on this one is quite strange, and that's because I think it's a partially improvised solo. I don't think Kirk Hammond did, you know, what, what bands do nowadays where they'll sit in guitar prone, meticulously type things out. I think he just kind of like winged it, and that's why he's got so much vibe. But anyway, we do this thing four times, so that'd be one, two, three, four. On the fourth time, instead of doing exactly the same, you want to go. So, straight to the 17, pick that again, and then hammer to the 19th. Well, it sounds, you might initially think he is still going, doing the same thing. If you slow it down and listen more carefully, it sounds to me anyway, I might have got it wrong, so you play it what, the way you think sounds right, but it sounds like he's done this sort of intuitively because he knows it makes it easier to get to the next part. And you'll find that with guys like uh, Hammett and Dave Murray, people who improvise solos really heavily. There's these weird kind of idiosyncrasies in their playing that often make their solos a bit more unique. It's less kind of rigid and by the book because there's these kind of slight, I don't want to say like kind of scuffed notes, but they're doing things somewhat unintentionally to help get from A to B. And it just gives it a bit more spontaneity. And if you feel that you're playing is missing this kind of exciting, spontaneous edge, then drop me a line, lessons at jbfmusic.com. I've been making a lot more custom video lessons recently. So if this or another topic sounds like something you'd like to work on make sure to hit me up but after that we're into this lick here so you're just picking the 19th fret off to the 15 and then 15 on the b so you probably want to rule your first finger so they don't ring into each other and you're going to play that one two three four five six seven eight Times. So this lick is in E minor, there's nothing spectacular going on in terms of the theory, but in terms of the rhythm there is a really kind of quirky thing Kirk's doing. Which if we slow it down it sounds a bit like this. So rather than just being triplets to 16th notes, which would sound a bit like this. We've got this really kind of cool, slightly quirky rhythm. Patreon's the place for the tab, you can click subscribe to keep up to date with the channel, check out the videos, leaving a like and a comment, all that great stuff. But cheers guys, hope you're having a good one.